talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ongoing title right now has kind of seen a slowdown in the trend. The Jenica hype has kind of calmed down, but we also think there's a great buying opportunity on this one, don't we? A huge buying opportunity. And you guys talk all the time that that's what you're looking for under that down section. And, and, and this one delivers a buying opportunity. In my mind, um, this is a no brainer and I'm shocked people are not talking about this. Um, when we, you mentioned last round and there we're talking more about the news. We're not talking about the books. Here we're talking about the books. We're talking about the fact that currently the ongoing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle series has no hype. Um, all of this hype from came from resellers, flippers, and retailers. Retailers who were creating exclusive variants, resellers and flippers who were buying books to resell, uh, trying to cash in on this Jenica thing, right? So they cashed in on 95, they cashed in on 96, they cashed in on 97. It got to a point where it got harder, 98, 99, things slowed down. 100 came out, everybody did their variant. That was a more expensive book, tougher to make a profit. And then everybody went and put their attention elsewhere and <laughs> eject. <laughs> right. It was like, it was, it was over. And this, we've seen this before because remember, we've often talked about this snake eyes, death of snake eyes story with GI Joe where the same thing happened where the entire comic community was paying attention to GI Joe for about three months. And then they moved on and never went and paid attention. Well, if you have turned your eyes away from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you are making a mistake. Because if remember, we talked about this. We predicted this, didn't we, Brad? We knew this would happen just based on patterns alone. Ninja Turtles' last huge issue was issue 50. And they followed it up by setting a storyline in place that would take almost five years to tell. And that was the introduction of Jenica. Jenica as a human into turning into then eventually a turtle, into eventually a team member, into eventually the death of Splinter. And this whole story played out over 50 issues. And we said, if we were betting men, and sometimes we like to be, we said we'd pay attention to issue 101. I know everybody's looking at 100, but I, I bet 101 there's some new characters. And then the comic community got Mona Lisa, a new character in 101. And everybody was like, see, that's the new character, but it got a little bit of buzz. You'll see when people list that book on eBay, they'll put first appearance of Mona Lisa. But Brian, as great as Mona Lisa is, and actually she's become more and more important in the story, she is not even the most exciting first appearance in that book. It's the tiny albino turtle named Lita, who, as we've already seen a flash forward, is going to be a full-grown turtle at some point. In issues 101 and 102, there are a multitude of first appearances. And then in issue 105, the most recent issue, it's gotten national media news from like comicbook.com, CBR. But nobody in the speculation or the secondary market community has paid attention to this. I haven't seen one of your favorite speculation sites out there write an article about this. But in 105, they formed a, a new clan, the Splinter Clan, in honor of Splinter. And in honor of Splinter, they adopted four children, just like Splinter did. So now the Ninja Turtles have their own adopted children. And on top of it, if people's minds were blown when the turtles added a fifth member, they just added a sixth member, and it's not a turtle. It's the, it's the Fox character, Aliplex, who's been around since 2011, who was added and get, got the green bandana and was added as the sixth member of the team in issue 105. And she actually shared a kiss with Raphael in that issue, which may not seem like a big deal, but you're talking about kind of like a kid's book that these, these characters were teenagers, this is part of them growing up now. Now they've got children. They're having relationships. This shows real growth in this Ninja Turtles series. Ever since issue 100 up to issue 105, I think that this run is starting to become very important. Do not wait till issue 150 when this is the talk of the comic book community to start going and getting these issues because right now they're on the downside because these covers, are the, the, they're not even cover price for covers A and B. The incentives are at or around ratio. This is a complete stealth play. And the only reason why issue 101 is a little tougher and a little more expensive is because everybody's paying attention to Mona Lisa. 
And again, that's not the way in the route that I would go. But this is a great buying opportunity. We've seen this play out before. You can roll your eyes because you think maybe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles isn't your thing. But if you see those prices that Jenica was and still is commanding, it shows you what the potential for this community is.